and uh, I don't know, like that man was super ego. Like he was, he was a hard man. Like he was very hard. And I think maybe it was, oh, maybe his weight. Uh-huh. Was even kids at school would make fun of him. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, there was a time when he, he exploded when kids, mm-hmm. they drew pictures of him. I wanna like you when with the pig's head, on first time. And then, yeah, man, That's super like, creative. Hey, dog. <laughs> on first time. So, hey, and then, I think they were nurturing the inner beast into this man. It was bored was this man mean, dog? Mm-hmm. Well, and the footy man, uh, I don't know why, but he just didn't like me. I think it's because maybe he saw me. Okay, it was when I started smoking cigarettes, to mm-hmm. be honest. And then he gone to all the smoking cigarettes, but ah, oh, Baba, I all hate drug loose. From that day, he just he just made it like he's a mandate to be here. You understand? And then now it was now becoming a bottle of toxic. Medleys on Prasanna to a, where at a certain time it will explode. One percent because here's this teacher being, uh, you know, like uh, an asset to my life. Here's a guy back at home being a bull with horns. So that to me, and then my father's death. I just, I just, yeah. yeah. Can you please, to the best of your ability, explain to us the circumstances that led to your father dying? What happened to him? Um, and also maybe give us a an idea of, you mentioned briefly that he was a moneyed person because he owned taxis. Um, you know, just let us know what kind of man he was. He was a wealthy guy and what, what led to his death as well. Mm, my father was dead, nine bullets to the head. Um, he had just, he was wash, doing washing, and a, red, a red Corolla pulled in, and two Zulu guys just, and then they just started spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying. And to be honest with you, I don't know why, because as we all know, the violence over the taxi industry mm. is just a plague to this beautiful country of ours. Yeah. So it's a shame. It's it's a, it's a sadness, rather. Which uh, its kids are being the one victimized. You understand mm. of, of 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 this ravaging wolf, which is these gruesome of these people because. Well, one of the saddest parts in Pinjam, I'm going to ask it here as Africans. During the funeral, they have to open this box. We have to see him. To me, that picture does not, it's, 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 it's constantly here. Mm-hmm. Because his head was... Just figured. Jesus. On first time. Yeah. So to me, that, uh, it is, it has tormented me a lot. Yeah. A part of me once died, actually. To such an extent, I was was drawn for a long time. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. What do you understand about his death and the circumstances surrounding that? Was there a hit out for him, or was this the competition around roots? Because that's like the main issue. Uh, most of the time, and was maybe his prosperity a threat to the other owners as well? What did you hear? What theory do you st- is, is in your heart with what you gathered when you were younger? I believe as Baba you as the good he they were the funniest part, but he there's a rumor actually even circulating to this very day in Rustenberg which Uman is involved. My aunt who is my my father's older sister. Yes. The way, the manner in which she carried herself, even in the funeral, 
it was of a celebratory mood than actually someone who's moving. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And uh, she's the one who was front line everything like she wanted. You understand? Even me now, I, I was the same from all those things. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because this thing was pre orchestrated with the jump. Young, you understand? To such an extent, you would after my father's death, mathematics about our file, even the owners. You understand? Hey, would he as operate? Why? I don't know. Well, I'm great. And uh, Mina, uh, Mina, there were two SMSs which Mrs. Swami showed me, which said, Mina, if I even try, yeah, but they'll, they'll, I'll, 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 I'll receive the same as my father. Mm-hmm. So that's why I backed off because I need to, hence I was supposed to be the carrier of the legacy mm-hmm. or the heir to my father's estate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you understand that he was wealthy according to your observation at the time? 11 taxis and two uh, buses. Mm-hmm. Um, in a sense, he was. In, in that standard, he, he was. I wouldn't say super wealthy, mm-hmm. but just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is very touching. Um, you say that you became the target after your father's death. Was that a natural thing that you were going to go into in the first place? Because given your intellect and your... Um, you, you're so eloquent in your speak and your ability, as you say now, um, to even consume information that mm-hmm. is complex. Yes, yes, yes. It, it, it could have been that you were not even going to be in that industry. Yes, I wasn't. Actually, I wanted it to be more something sustaining for my other siblings. Yeah. And uh, I would have partially ventured in it for my own and of ours, understand, to, to gain capital, understand, mm. to do something else which I am interested in. For instance, your flight, logistics, and couriering, yeah, well, and property monopoly is what I'm interested in venturing in within the corporate landscape. So, yeah. Okay. Um, let's move a little bit further from that then. Um, you are a South African sensation. Uh, on TikTok, people see your videos. Yes. This video is going to be popular, no doubt. Yes, 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 um, yes, yes, yes. As YouTubers, we are always worried about whether or not an episode is going to be good and people are going to watch it. Yes. I know for a fact that people are going to watch this. Oh, man. Uh, mm. You know. Yeah. Uh, how did you find yourself where people know you from, uh, Campus Square? Mm. What happened? What were the circumstances that led you to that? I, we know the circumstances, but what happened? How did you eventually settle to Campus Square? Oh, Campus Square, Campus Square. I once had a dream, Hautiam, of being a radio jockey myself. Um, first then. So there was something that told me to pursue that. Mm. But now, circumstances, or circumstantially, as time progressed, I felt that, um, should he, like, hands on things I start doing. So, you know, it's very hard to pursue something from the street point of view. Yeah, obviously. So as time progresses, that, yeah, well, it wears down, that, that, that spark, that, in, uh, we understand it, because you meet diverse and vast beings who've got, negative perception some of negative of the yeah like you know people call you names or whatnot mm. so that on its own it's it scars your you understand your your your, your, spirit, your spirit and your confidence as a mm. being on first time so yeah that's why i believe i ended up in campus Square. Mm. it was more of a part of a journey of me trying to pursue mm. my inner yeah, I'm gonna stand there. What's right. around Campus Square? I'm sure a lot of South Africans don't know. They're not from Joburg. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason why you're in Campus Square. It's yeah. In, it's, it's in connection with your dream. Okay. What is in and around Campus Square? What is close by there? Okay, the SABC is, the, the SABC buildings are there. Mm-hmm. The Radio Park. And uh, 
as enormous as ABC as as as, as the giant corporate is today, yeah, uh, owns about sixteen radio stations. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's Media Park. So I would say Campus Square is like the Hollywood version of Um Zanzi. Okay, just hold on. Mm. Look at one of the cameras. Let us know which camera to look at. In your best radio baritone, make an appeal to the SABC to your name, surname, your skills, and you want a job from the SABC radio job. Look at that camera. 